Oh hello there, welcome back to my channel, it's great to have you here with me again. But if it's your first time checking out the show, I'd love if you could smash the like button, hit subscribe and of course leave me a comment down below if you have any thoughts, feelings or suggestions regarding the topic at hand. One of the strangest reactions to come off the back of my Brendan Shaw vs Malik B video has been some people pushing back on the notion that podcasting, creating content online isn't as hard as working a regular nine to five. When I say nine to five, I mean any job from telesales to marketing to flipping, working on a construction site, any job that you do essentially to pay the necessities and to make sure that you are a functioning and healthy adult within this society that we're in. And for some reason, some people pushed back on the idea and said, no, doing five three hour podcasts is equivalent to working on a construction site somewhere and I really can't get my head around it. Maybe it's just me, but over the years I've had some really terrible jobs and I can honestly say recording videos on YouTube as I'm doing now at the moment, recording a podcast and putting that onto iTunes and Spotify and wherever else you find podcasts, it comes nowhere close to replicating the feeling of dread, fear, anger and anguish and overall tiredness that you get from working a regular nine to five. There is no comparison, there really isn't. And I'm so thankful Adam Crowley appeared on the fire and the kid and basically echoed my thoughts. So I'm gonna play the clip now and offer some more comments on the other side. Oh, and big up the homeless cats for the clip. A couple things, like first things first, like people always go, oh, you work so much. I go, is this work? Is, is what we're doing yeah, now no. work? I mean. I know what work is, you know, Every, you know, work people fucking grew up, fucking work meant you got on the roof or under the building, you know. Yeah. Hold on, what did Brian say? Did Brian say work is hitchhiking? Let's just green dye that before we continue. What? Work, I mean, I know what work is, you know, Every, you know, work people fucking grew up, fucking work meant you got on the roof or under the building, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. work was like getting dirty, work was moving stuff. Look at Brendan's face. He's not convinced. Things change, my man. Things change, papa. You know, I grew up with work really meaning like something tactile and physical. Like work meant you got paid by the hour and you had to move shit or spread shit yeah. or rip shit up, Blue throw color. it in a dumpster. Not, 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 you not know? work with your face, right? You're like working with your face. And I was like, I, when is talking, talking. So Why is Brian adding any ad lib whatsoever? He's essentially a trash fun kid which is not a bad thing, but hey, he has, he's had absolutely no life experiences that would have any sort of relation to working a regular nine to five. He was on yachts when he was like 10 years old, living in 17 different countries before he turned 21. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Why is he not doing an agreeing? I love the guy, but come on. So to me, my mentality was kind of like, you work all day, for me it was construction, and then at night, maybe you go out with a couple of friends and you have a beer and you do this. So I had it so ingrained in me that this isn't work for such a long period of time that when I started doing this, I never looked at it as work. And I, I was always curious, like, you know, I started 12 and a half years ago, you know, and I'd say to like, other, you know, no one did a podcast, but everyone kind of come in, you know, like Sarah Silverman or something like that. And I go, you should do a podcast. They go, uh, how often? I go like well, every day. And they go, oh, come on. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's like, right. do what? She's doing yeah, it now. You talk. Yeah, you yeah. sit around and you now. talk. Thank God someone wants some common sense and someone with far more influence, clout, uh, notoriety said something that I was saying myself in the video. So maybe people will now agree with what I had to say. Under no circumstances is recording a video online or recording a podcast talking about subjects that you enjoy, right? Because if you're not familiar with my channel and you've only come on here because of the videos I make on some of the LA based comedians, check my channel out. I record a podcast called The Agassino Zinger Show. I do about three shows per week. Some of them are about an hour and some change long. I also record some live streams called Open Tabs and name that store from Burt Kreischer. I'm sorry. And most of the topics I talk about on my podcast are things that I'm fairly passionate about, things that I'm fairly knowledgeable about. That's not work for me. That's a sense of escapism. I have a regular nine to five that I do that I probably don't want to do as a career for the long term. And I would much rather do this full time. But I do this on the side because I enjoy doing it. It's really difficult to find hobbies when you're an adult. It's really difficult to fill up some of your free time. So if I can fill some of that up recording a video, talking about stuff that I'm fairly interested in, stuff that I'm fairly passionate about and share that with people like yourselves who are also passionate about hearing stuff from other regular people just like yourself. Why would I have the goal to come on here and then tell you this is hard work? It clearly isn't because I'm clearly enjoying every minute of it. That's the whole point. You do this sort of stuff. You do 
do it because it's not work because you know what work is that's the thing that i don't understand you know what actual work is you've worked a dead-end job that you didn't really enjoy and again it doesn't have to be toiling on a construction site with the sun beaming on the back of your neck it can just be working a job that you're clearly not passionate about but you just happen to be good at i have many friends like that many friends who are in professions that they don't actually want to be in they have a natural born skill set for it they have an, an innate um, talent for doing that job it's just allowed them to propel their career to a certain level they're making decent money but they're not exactly happy about it but we're adults so we get on but we get on we're doing it but if they suddenly opened up a hairdresser's tomorrow which was their passion and they started complaining about hard work how would you feel how would that sound that would sound insane so you left one place that you didn't like effectively just because it was paying your bills and now you've moved into a stuff that you actually want to do and you're complaining about the workload that's really odd and i'm not too sure what it is but it's definitely something that i've noticed with a lot of la based comedians they have this weird tendency of wanting to equate whatever they do in terms of creating content online as to some sort of regular job when it clearly isn't and the annoying thing about it is that most of these people especially if you're a stand-up comedian i would imagine with the exception of maybe a very small minority they've all made it very late in life fair enough even joe rogan right he's rich as hell and he's been able to take his career to whole different leaps and bounds don't get me wrong with that but still he didn't make it when he was in his late 20s he made it fairly late into his what the end of his late 30s going into his late 40s so he had loads of life experiences i just i just don't understand why these comedians have such a desire to connect with the audience me and you and try to say that what they do is equivalent to what we do nine to five it clearly isn't that's the reason why we watch them for that escapism we don't need them to convince us that what they're doing is just as hard as what we're doing it's not it really isn't and it just needs to be said out there in the open. There was a point in my life where I had a job where I wasn't looking forward to going back to the job on Saturday evening. I was already dreading coming in on Monday morning. And I'm sure some people can echo those thoughts. When you wake up on a Saturday evening or you get up on Saturday afternoon and you're already dreading going to work on Monday. You already think the weekend's already passed you by because you stayed up late or you went out on a Friday night. So then half of the Saturday morning is gone and you're already depressed imagine imagine that feeling you're elated that you're leaving work on a friday going to have some drinks with your friends maybe meeting up with your partner maybe going on a trip whatever it may be going home and playing video games for 17 hours and then you wake up late on a saturday afternoon and you're already dreading getting to work on a monday i've been there before and it happens with all kind of jobs it doesn't need to be a good one or a bad one it happens when you're just doing stuff you obviously don't want to do in your career maybe your aspirations and your dreams haven't been actualized and life has sort of led you in this place that you're at, at the moment where you're just doing the things that need to be done in order to keep a roof over your head because we're adults so how are they ever going to equate sitting on a circle or sitting in a makeshift flipping diner pontificating about news they've done no research on giving us the unsolicited opinions on stories that we don't care about for our entertainment and then equate that to what we're doing nine to five it's not the same thing it just isn't and it's okay it really is okay because we all know deep down that these guys are all multi-millionaires those guys around the table with maybe the exception of Chappelle who started recently they're all multi-millionaires through talking through telling dick jokes as they like to say they're not in our tax bracket they don't have the same life experiences we have zero zelch just because they watch the ufc and they do a couple of deadlifts doesn't mean they're the everyman they really aren't i don't really understand why they keep doing so why they keep trying to connect with us in that way because they're not i guess maybe because when you're a stand-up comedian you sort of have to toil on stage with no one really paying attention you're really crappy for what what do, what do most comedians say joey diaz always says something along the lines of you don't get good until year 10 or something right so it's a really long process to become even decent it takes really long time and you'd have to be a real psycho to put yourself up to that level of abuse and that level of embarrassment every year when you're clearly not good when you, you know you probably you clearly aren't where you think you need to be but in the hope that you might get there in the end it takes a special kind of person to do that sort thing you have to have a special kind of makeup so maybe because of that and they spend a lot of time in bars in dingy hole in the walls in places where a lot of regular people are around it sort of gives you this false idea that you are regular like that you you know but it's you're not really have you seen any of the clips of brendan when he goes to shows he doesn't necessarily you know dive in deep and interact with the audience it kind of treats it a bit like a job he turns up he does his show performs his material and heads out nothing wrong with that but just because you performed in front of people who have regular jobs doesn't mean you are a regular person. You obviously are not. You're in the top, what, 1% of the profession that you're doing. 
You're actually making money podcasting. You're actually making money doing stand-up in the pandemic. So I don't really understand why everyone was arguing and sort of like, you know, debating this fact. But I guess, you know, if you listen to enough podcasts and you keep hearing people saying the same thing, it can sometimes resonate with you and give you this false idea that what they're saying is actually true. But you know the reality if you've worked a real job. You know the reality. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe I've got it all completely twisted up and I'm looking at it the wrong way. If that is the case, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below do you actually think creating content is equivalent to working a nine-to-five job i'd like to know your thoughts and opinions on the topic get involved in the comments and i'll see you guys again soon peace